Dear 30 year students, this is our lectures of SBSS. Let's start by our vision of uh, some titles. Firstly, we take the start of the data file. We can, if you can ask uh, SPSS to search your data file according to values on one of your variables such sex or age. We can click on the data menu and choose sort cases as follows. We can click on the data menu and choose sort cases and then we can choose the variables that we want to sort my data file according to its values such as year of birth for example and we can click on ascending or descending finally we will press on ok and to return your file to its original order we can repeat the process asking SPSS to sort the file by ID or here by interrogator ok Let's take a look. We will search about the purse date. Purse, purse, yes. Here the purse is, sorry, here the purse is sorted ascending from the small to the largest number okay secondly we can split the data file sometimes it is necessary to sometimes it is necessary to find or split the data file and to repeat analysis for groups like males and females separately this procedure doesn't physically alter your file in any permanent manner it is an option you can turn a on or turn off as it suits your purposes the order in which the cases are displayed in the data file will change you can return the data file to original order by ID by using sort cases command described above. We can make it by clicking on data. We can click on split files. And we can compare groups and we can compare it according or based on purse year of purse for example and we can click it on again and we can find the files can be splitted according to the compare groups as we see in front of us. Then we can take an important note which is when you have finished the analysis you should go back and turn the split file off. 
So let's turn to select cases. In the select cases menu or order, we can click the data menu and choose the select cases option. Let's apply on the data. We can click on data menu. Then we can select cases. And we can click on the F option or the F condition. So, okay. And we will click on this in this box labeled. And we can choose the variables that define the group that we want to interest in. And we will click on the arrow button to move the variable name into the box. For example, we, if we need to, the example here is not sufficient, but we can make it. We can choose the variable that defines the group that we interested in. If you interested in uh, um, uh, in uh, production or in uh, uh, the uh, expenses of our uh, or for example, uh, saving is equal to the income minus the consumption so we can make it for example saving and turn it and we will call it equal for example saving minus the consumption And we make it arithmetic, for example, and we will press continue. So it will appear at the final of the table. Secondly, we can. Uh, if we finished the analysis, you, we should uh, need to go back and turn the select cases option off. Otherwise, it will apply to all analysis conducted. So, in this command, we will click on the data menu and then select the cases, um, then uh, click on uh, if condition uh, uh, satisfied button and then we will uh, click on the button of labeled uh, if then we will uh, choose the variable that define our group that we are interested in we will click on the arrow button to move the variable name into the box and we click on the key or the equal key from the keypad and Finally, we will type in the value that corresponds to the group you are interested in. Uh, for example, males, we will uh, 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 code it uh, pi1, uh, it is coded already, and therefore you would type in 1. The comment line should read 6 equal 1. Finally, we will press on OK. We take all of these, and it is very important.
and we take all of this and we take frequency table we take um, a data view variable view uh, transform a menu and select menu we take graphs all graphs and we transform the body chart to for example pie chart we take a, a scatter plot and we don't take a tax plot uh, we take the general tendency measures and we take uh, how to uh, make uh, uh, a correlation and how to make a linear regression how uh, to uh, uh, to read the the box of ANOVA table and we finish the edpage uh, uh, 4c then we take some some pages uh, like six, uh, 46 uh, which we um, uh, we will work uh, with output and when we turn to it we found that when we finished the, um, uh, the steps of uh, the analysis we the viewer will be appeared like this at page 46 here there are two views the first view is the outline pane and the second view is the contents pane as we see uh, as we see the the viewer window is divided into two panes the first one is the outline pane which is it this window or this bin contains an outline of all of the information stored in the viewer and here it is the contents pane which contains the statistical tables and it is uh, it contains also charts and text output we can use the scroll bar to navigate th through windows contents both vertically and horizontally to hide the table or a chart we can double click to its book icon in the outline pane here we can make a double click here to appear or disappear this table statistics which is it this table or this contents uh, if we uh, make a double click on marital states for example and to open icon changes to a closed icon we will signifying that the information associated with it is now hidden to re redisplay the hidden output we can make a double click to the closed book icon We can make changes on the output as we take in the last lecture. So please apply on the uh, SPSS program all what, what we made in the lecture and study hardly. And if we if you want to uh, ask to me, please contact me at our yahoo mail and i will respond to your questions so please pay attention on the anova table and on the uh, linear regression will uh, and the correlation and the menus menus which contain 
uh, a data menu transform menu analyze and graphs Uh, uh, how to insert variables how to insert cases and how to replace how to go to case and how to go to variable how to compute variables and how to uh, record how to um, uh, make a descriptive statistics like frequencies des uh, descriptives um, how to uh, uh, make a correlation, make a regression, make a um, and here how to make a forecasting please revise on and make a revision on all of these menus and how to open uh, a new data, a new data file in syntax, a syntax uh, output script, how to open them and how to open a database, how to save a file, how to save it uh, uh, as um, uh, a file and how to deal with uh, and work with output. how to change the color of the output uh, uh, chart how to uh, change the background of the output uh, uh, chart and so on so please study hard and revise all of these windows and all of the reference pages thank you